Ian, can you identify what makes stakeholder engagement really work on high performance, uh, successful university projects? Uh, as you know, stakeholder, good stakeholder engagement is essential for any project. It's particularly important for university buildings due to the complexity of the stakeholder engagement. Projects generally involve change. Some might be welcome, like a new building for a new scientific initiative. Some may not be welcome, uh, so much like estates rationalisation, introduction of 21st century ways of working, ways of teaching or, or technology. And a building a project will involve change, it has the potential to be disruptive <coughs> uh, in terms of their working, and particularly to research activities and to the student experience, both of which are crucial uh, in terms of the success of the institution. So therefore change and the stakeholder engagement around it has to be managed from the earliest briefing stage right through to the new space, the move and aftercare uh, thereafter. The only thing you really know is that, one, is that change is certain. And that, key, that working is key uh, and showing uh, the academics and other stakeholders what other institutions have been doing around the world in our case Ideally with competitor institutions, that's always uh, a, a good way of engaging them. And ideally somewhere that they can go and visit if that's at all possible. Uh, so we do a lot of workshops, for example, with, um, with our stakeholders here about what other universities have been doing to help guide uh, the briefing process into the future. And one of the issues we have as a sector, I think, is there's not enough information about exemplars elsewhere and uh, through an organisation involved with Higher Education Design Quality Forum, we recently held a workshop in Scotland, and again that message came through from Scottish state staff. They need more examples and more exemplars uh, to be put together that they can use to show their academic colleagues and professional services colleagues what other people are doing. And it must be remembered that projects are about people. What we are doing is providing the building envelope for staff and students to be successful in the future. So there's a need to keep the stakeholders engaged throughout the project. It may well be done by a separate team to the project delivery team. Um, and that has advantages because it is sometimes a different skill set. Uh, the project may well be proceeding on programme and on budget, but how do we know that the stakeholders still view it as giving them what they want? If change in teaching, working and other practices like building management systems are involved, we need to engage with stakeholders to prepare them well in advance uh, for the move into the new building. So in successful projects, such as those at Coventry and Oxford Brookes Universities, uh, they've achieved change through the major projects. Stakeholder engagement has been attacked with all the rigour of the main construction project, with resource, with planning to see it through. This is something we've put in place here at King's for our Bush House project, which is across the road, engaging the stakeholders from the earliest stage of the vision, the business case, through examples of what other universities are doing. And then a pilot project, which had its good parts and its bad parts. Some of it, to be honest, didn't work. And you have to accept that the pilots that you do, you've got to learn lessons from them. You may well have to change the approach. Otherwise, the stakeholders will think it's all just a sham. Uh, and our first phase, which uh, took place uh, about a month ago, is a small part of the building. The occupants are very happy, but we're doing lots of feedback with them to get um, lessons and, and other um, information that, again, we can feed into the main part of the project that will, will happen next year. So I think it's about having a separate process in place to the building uh, project itself. It's continuing it all the way through, it's showing the stakeholders that you are generally trying to understand their issues and address their issues. Uh, and it's not just a cosmetic um, engagement. And it's showing them that you listen to what they say and make change when appropriate. Uh, and sometimes that making that change can be quite difficult, but it, it has to be done in the end of the day because you're going to have a building that's going to be here for decades, centuries into the future.